1 billion people. That's how many people are using iPhones in just 15 years. In 2006, we were all using flip phones and Blackberries, playing on Nintendo 64s, and getting VHS movies from Blockbuster. Now we're watching the new Batman on a 6-inch screen, texting blue bubbles through iMessage, well, most of us, or FaceTiming our friends on a kayak. So how did we get here? By one man, Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was the greatest mass marketer of the 21st century. In 2008, Steve introduced... But there is one more thing. The iPhone. He redefined computing, enhancing the user experience, and creating products and services loved by millions around the world. He reshaped the music industry with the iPod and the phone industry with the iPhone. So what was going on inside the mind of Jobs to cause great products to be invented? Jobs grew up in Silicon Valley where there was an engineer on every block of his neighborhood, always creating some new invention. He soon found Steve Wozniak, the early engineering brain of Apple, who made the first Apple computer. And Steve being the marketing genius he is, he made them a selling hit. Jobs could anticipate what his team wanted even before they even knew what they wanted, creating a market for a product that never existed at all. And he led the creation and marketing of irresistible products like the iPhone, the iPod, the iPad. Three perspectives Jobs lived by was, number one, create a vision and innovate. He was known as the man who always seems to know what's next. If you know anything about Apple, it's their everlasting goals to hold their products to a perfect standard. When fighting to create or even innovate, always keep standards and test out the barriers. Number two, focus on great design. His goal was always to address the audience's needs and feed the people simple solutions to everyday problems. Jobs paid attention to details and strive for perfection on everything so the user can be satisfied and build a trusting product consumer relation. At number three, keep improving. Steve once said, just figure out what's next. Sometimes when you innovate, you make mistakes. It is best to admit them quickly and get on with improving your other innovations. Jobs was always open to criticism from customers reading hundreds of emails a day. This is a big reason Jobs' legacy lives on until today. Making sure the current things Apple is working on is focused in a way to enhance the user's experience rather than slow it down.